Hey, hey everybody, Jason here, and I'm back with another video for you guys. I'm stoked that you guys are back watching. Today I wanna to talk about surfaces, 3D printing surfaces. There's a ton of new surfaces that have kind of made their way into the market over the last year, year and a half. Things like BuildTech, Kapton Tape, PEI, which is the surface my new Prusa i3 Mark II came with. There's just a variety of surfaces, not to mention there's the good old fashioned glass, painter's tape. Some guys, you know, go straight to just raw aluminum with some with some glue stick or with some spray paint. At the end of the day, what I've really found is that there, these surfaces, there is no one perfect surface. There's surfaces that are useful for different types of prints. And so there are some things, like when I'm printing something that's very large and has a very big surface area, I tend to print it on the Kapton tape or on the PEI. But if I have something that has a very small surface area, then a lot of times I'll use heavily prepped blue painter's tape because it just provides a better result. Anyways, with that said, I thought today I would, we would do a little experiment. I went ahead and I designed up this little dowel in SolidWorks, and I thought we would print it on four different sections of the bed of my PrinterBot Metal Plus using blue painter's tape, but prepped in four different ways for different areas. We'll, use, go ahead, we'll just go ahead and use plain old tape on one corner. We'll use tape that's scuffed in another, tape that's wipe down with some alcohol in another. And in the last section, we'll go ahead and scuff the tape and wipe it down with alcohol so you guys can see with your own eyes exactly how much the adhesion varies from surface to surface. So anyways, let's head over to the printer, get some tape on this thing and get printing. Okay, so just to recap, we have four different quadrants here and each section of the blue tape was prepared a little bit differently. There was no preparation work done whatsoever to quadrant number one. Quadrant number two was actually scuffed down with Scotch-Brite. Quadrant number three was wiped down with alcohol, but not scuffed down with Scotch-Brite. And then last but not least, quadrant number four was scuffed down with Scotch-Brite and then wiped down with alcohol. So let's see how these things break away. Okay, so quadrant number one, pretty. Oh. Pretty easy, pretty clean, you can see, not too bad. Okay, now quadrant number two. You can see that there was clearly more traction here, but there's no blue tape, there's no residue, nothing like that on the bottom of this. So again, broke away pretty well. So we'll put these in, in the right order. Now we have number three. Now it's probably gonna start getting sketchy. And you can see clearly the mark that is left it's, it clearly disrupted the tape. So there's no question that this broke off pretty cleanly, pretty easily. This, there was a little bit more adhesion, but really no damage to the tape. Now you can see there's actually some damage to the tape. And last but not least is this one. And this was the side that was prepped with alcohol and Scotch-Brite. And you can see that not only is there some tape that came away on the bottom of the print itself, but the actual print is bubbled up it's all bubbled up if you guys can see that right there and of course it damaged the tape but so we have level one two three and four all on the exact same surface just varying the adhesion a little bit by how we prep it okay well as you can see there's a huge difference in how much adhesion from unprepped tape to heavily prepped tape and it's just one of those things this isn't like i said there isn't really a perfect surface but if you're printing something that has really small feet or really small legs or something like that Definitely consider some heavily prepped blue painter's tape. But if you have something that has a really big surface area, you know, like a great big plate or a parts tray or something like, like that, then stick with the PEI or the Kapton tape. You'll just have a really hard time breaking it away. Even if it's unprepped painter's tape, sometimes it could just be a real bear to just to get those parts to just, just to break the, the bonds between the part and the blue tape. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this video just as much as I enjoyed making it. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I just want to say thanks again for watching my videos. I really appreciate you guys watching. You'd be doing me a huge favor if you could either like, comment, or even better, subscribe and you'll be notified when new stuff comes out. I'm all over social media, so if you want to see stuff that just never makes it to YouTube, add me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, or come say hi on Twitter. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.